Today, I'm gonna talk about my English learning experience. I started to learn English when I was 12 years old in middle school. At that time, it was hard to remember all the letters, the words, and it was even harder to learn the sentences. The teachers, they couldn't really speak English. They just taught English as they taught math, geography, or history. They couldn't pronounce all the words correctly, not to mention the sentences. Things got a little better in high school, but I spent another three years learning English. But I become more became more and more confused because the exam became more and more difficult. After I entered the university, I found some students had higher English level. They could understand the teachers. They could answer the questions. I see some. The ratio is about 30%. Because I came from the rural area of the country, I, I was one of the worst. I couldn't follow the class. I couldn't answer the questions. I had no effective way. I have no good way to learn, and I have no good materials to learn. So my English was still very poor when I graduated from university. I hadn't made any obvious progress in university in, in the four years in university. I just managed to pass the CET4, which is the um, basic requirement for graduation. And things hadn't gone any better in the next about 10 years or more 10 years. And then I had a had a had an international project at work. I needed to read and write some English files. I needed to be able to understand some basic English conversations. But it was awkward for me because I just couldn't understand anything people were talking. So one day I made up my mind to pick up my English and started started to learn it from scratch, as I had never learned before. I signed up a English course in an English training center. I downloaded some podcasts to, li to listen to. After learning for three or four years, I felt I made some obvious progress. I can, I could understand more by reading and listening, but I still couldn't read, I still couldn't listen, write, I still couldn't write or speak. In the year 2019, I found out I could use VPN to access YouTube, and there are a lot of YouTube videos, good, great YouTube videos. And I was fascinated. I watched YouTube videos in the subway when I commute. I listened, I listened and watched YouTube videos in the evening on weekends. I spend almost all my spare time with English. 
So now I feel more confident with my English, and my listening skill is improved a lot, and my reading and writing skills are also improved accordingly. As for speaking skill, I think I still need a lot of practice.